In this video, I'm going to show you how to enrich skin tone in Photoshop using the gradient map. The steps in this video are very easy to follow. You can see just two adjustment layers, gradient map for the color and the levels just to increase the contrast and give the image a general boost. So this was the before, this is the after. And we know for that ado, let's get started. Uh, first of all, I'm going to delete this group, the Erase Skin Tone group that contains the gradient map and the levels adjustment we just used to get this result. This was the before, this is the after. So you delete it. And now the first thing I'm going to create is the gradient map. So you come to your adjustment layer down here, or you can go to image adjustments and look for gradient map and click on it. I like to use the shortcut down here. You click on your gradient map and then the gradient map adjustment layer would be created for you. So this is the gradient map adjustment and this is the default uh, gradient. So this stuff right here, this gradient bar right down here is what we are going to edit to get amazing rich skin tone on this portrait. So you can see this slider here on the extreme left is the shadow slider which is for the darkest point or the darkest part of your image. This one on the extreme right is the bright brightness slider that is the highlight slider. This one contains colors in the most brightest part of the image. So to create another slider on this gradient map if I just click you left click anywhere on the gradient map but I want this to be on the mid toe section so the location should be 50 so come down here and write 50 ok so the next thing I am going to do on the gradient editor is to change the value of the colors so make sure you are on the shadow on the shadow you double click on the color to bring up the color picker and then you impute this hex code number. Then two six F zero zero. My click on OK. Come to the mid tone here and why on the mid tone spider? click on color to bring up the color picker and insert this value in the hex code section here you insert f f 9 3 0 6 now click on ok come to the highlights here bring up the color picker or the stop color I decide this value F F F F F. This is extreme white. So you click on home key. See the number of X is too much, so it's telling us it's too much. You might adjust it automatically for us. Make sure the color code you use is exactly what you see you've seen on this video to get the accurate color. Now you click on OK. The next thing I'm going to do is to change the blending mode from so normal to soft light. So this was the before, this is stage right now. And why on the gradient map you press Ctrl I to invert the gradient map layer max so that this effect is not all over the image. So you click on Ctrl I on your PC or Command I on Mac to invert the layer max so if it's black white this means it's hiding all the adjustments of this adjustment layer but if it's white it means it's rebuilding it all over the image so we make it black take our brush make sure the foreground is white and then we paint over the area of the image we want to reduce this particular adjustment which is the skin tone so we paint it all over the skin
if you look at the image you can see that this skin tone is looking amazing rich warm color skin tone but obviously the effect is too much so you know what we are going to do right we are going to use the capacity slider to reduce the effect so you come to your opacity and reduce the effect of the opacity okay so we are around 50 or 40 is okay so as before this is still correctly on and now another thing you can do to boost the overall contrast to the image is to bring up the levels i just made now move the extreme left slider to the right and then move the extreme right slider to the left like this this was the before this was the before this is the after so we create a group for these two adjustments i rename it a um, rich skin tone and now we got to get the card before and after this was the policy after a far more easier way to uh, reach your skin tone which is actually my favorite is use the very uh, skin tone action it's part of the slamming retouch pack that contains slammy smart retouch no, there are more we talk more about that in another video but for this let's just focus on the every skin tone if you play this action it automatically creates this particular adjustment for you that you can take your brush make sure your program is white and then view the effect on your portrait image the skin area you just review this effect in you talk with the hide it and do it until you are okay with how or where this effect is being applied with in the movie from the eye and the teeth so i don't get a brown eye or teeth so this was the before apply this actual and this is after apply this actual another thing about this particular actual is you don't only have or you are not just limited to this color maybe this in the image you apply this you don't like this particular or on it you just take one of these keto swatch and let me use the dash skin tool for this particular image we bring it into photoshop grab this we do it at ok and then you want to change the color of the skin tool so you just click on this uh, particular image skin tool you double click on the layer to pick up this color picker and then when you click on any of this different skin color you get an amazing variation of the skin tone when you're okay with it you click on ok you turn off the swatch or you delete the swatch and you get amazing skin tone on your image this method is easy but you can see that the result is top notch and screw if you need this particular swatch for my full one you just check the link in the description Reach out to me on Instagram and let's get the discussion going. And that is it for this video. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. If you haven't already liked this video, please like this video. It's one of our major source of motivation to keep putting out money back videos on this channel. Happy to be part of a pretty journey. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. See you in another Adminism tutorial.